Hi, I'm going to talk about your view options in the grid and loop view in Lightroom Library. This is very important because a large part of your time will be spent in editing, and what you can see and your style of looking at the information will make a large difference in your workflow. Right now we are looking at grid view, and we're looking at grid view with expanded cells. If I click on view, then view options, I can change what I see. So if I come here to grid view and I have expanded cells and I have compact cells, in each of these views, I can decide many different things about what you will see. So in this case, I have both the color square visible and the color around the image. I can turn that off if I find that annoying by clicking tint grid cells with label colors. I can decide what I want showing and as you work with Lightroom, it will become more obvious what is helpful or distracting to you. And even on compact view, you can have the option to just have a top label with the file name showing or to have no labels. You can cycle the view by clicking a J. It is very quick to go back and forth, which can be good for sharing your work. The other view is loop. You can click an E to get to loop view. You can go back to view, view options, loop view. Here you will see that loop info one and loop info two, and you can choose what is in each of these views. You can hold down on the option and you can change it and you can personalize it. One of the powers of Lightroom. There's a keystroke to go through the different views and it is I like an ice. You can say what lens did I use on that? And with a keystroke, you can see that information. Very convenient, your loop information is also available in the develop mode. Experiment with grids and loop views. Enjoy and thank you very much.